Good morning, everybody. This is Kathy Miss Crafty Girl 42. In my last video, I was asked to do a tutorial on how I make a yo-yo. They are very simple to make, but keep in mind, I am new at this. I'm just starting to do this because I've always had problems with sewing because, I don't know, just sewing that wasn't my thing. So, but th this is simple and easy, and I like how they turned out. So, I'm going to try this tutor tutorial, but if y'all want to go and check out YouTube, type in on how to make yo-yos, there's all kind of lists on showing you how to do that. Some of them, um using yo-yo maker which I don't have and I don't intend to get one because I really I don't know I just didn't get into using the yo-yo maker but um what you need to do this project with is you need some fabric cut into circles I did use my um, big kick and my circle dies and this is my biggest circle die I had so that is going to make this size um yeah yeah now on this size one I used my circle um cutter here but for some reason my pieces fell out fell off so this is broke at the moment until I can get it fixed so you and like I said you need a yo-yo you can get something round and trace it and just cut it out with scissors but I did use my dies on this because I'm not a very good cutter I'm always crooked and mess up on them but then you're gonna need your needle you're gonna need your thread I already got my needle threaded and you are going to want to knot it at the end which this my knot I know you can barely see my knot but but um what you do you're gonna take the wrong piece the wrong side this is going to be the outside so you're going to want to fold in about that much I hope y'all see this about this much and you want to keep going around and folding that in this is if you use the material that fit um, freezes and stuff you can just take it and you don't have to fold it over so we do one of each the, um, both ways just so you can let's see it but what you do on this one I'm going to fold it over and you're going to bring your You want you don't want to um get close to the edge when you start sewing this together because but you're gonna pull your thread through you're gonna have that piece whoops gonna have that piece but it's okay and you see why now you don't want to make small stitches or oh, this is what I've learned on other on watching videos they didn't make a very um short so i'm just going to leave i don't know if you can tell on video but let me make the stitch and maybe you can see better then uh, i shouldn't be even using right thread on this but 
especially about doing this video, but that's all I had at the time, and All you're going to be doing is just going to go away and making the now since you got it started you can actually You can actually take your needle now and just feed it through back and forth. You just need to make sure you keep your I usually think I'm holding this the wrong grade because I can't see my I then when you get several stitches made doing it that way you can just pull it through And here it's going to start forming your, you know, your shape. Just make sure you just keep the, when you're doing it with, um, phone it down, make sure you keep it. Like I said, I am new at this, so you know, there's more professionals out there that makes these by watching YouTube, and they make them look so pretty too. This, I, I'm using this um, fabric also. Because this was my trial run one. Um, I got some pretty um, col more darker color ones. My lighting in here is helping me to actually see this good, but um. I do have some pretty color fabric too that I want to make more of, but this is like, like I said, this is my practice fabric that I had cut out to try to learn how to do this. And like I said, I'm still not a prof professional at doing this, so, um, you know. All I'm doing is just continuing going around, making my <sighs> and we are right here at the end. So 
this is what you would have like a little cap thing here but what you're going to do since you are at the end you're going to take that piece where we tied the knot out and left it and you're just going to Just going to pull it shut. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread. Just look like I got this tied over. I don't have to do any more extra sewing it down and stuff. So all I'm going to do now, since everything looks so tight and I'm just going to tie it off. If I didn't mention you need scissors for this, you also need scissors. Can't remember if I told you or not. Now the bigger circles makes the bigger um <sighs> yeah yeah just you can tie a knot in it ever how many times you want you just want to make sure that it does stay closed and not come apart like that now I'm just going to cut the extra scissor thread off and this is where you work with it to get it um, labeled out here. You just flip it how you want it. You can also use your needle to help with this part. I'm not very good at doing tutorials, but it was a request for me to do one. And like I said before, I am a newbie at this, but but there it is. And you can um cut a not cut, but put like a gemstone or um something pretty, a nice pretty centerpiece there. And you can set it on your card or other projects that you are working on. I'm still trying to flip mine a little bit. It's okay also if you have a little gap in it. But like I said, once you put the decorations on it, um, you will... have that covered up anyway. But there it is, making that one. Okay, I'm going to go through one more with you. I'm going to um, pause my camera for a minute while I get my three and stuff ready again. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm this one. I'm not going to um, fold it under. This time I'm just going to bring my needle up from the bottom, from the wrong side. 
Well, I gotta have my three ready. But it just fit it right on through. Let's try this again. Okay, now I think I got it tied off. Okay, so you're just going to bring it. On the bottom. to just start bringing it in and out now. I want to try to keep it the same length from where I'm going with the needle there. I'm trying to do it about the same. So it'll be more even when you pull it together. If it gets caught on your fabric, just just pull it in. I will say it's better to use a darker thread because it you're basically watching your needle, not the thread. Or at least that's what I'm doing. And I'm just weaving the needle in and then I want to take it all the way around to me this one is easier than the other one because you're not having to watch your folds on the back Shay do you um, fold yours on the back or do it Make yours like this. Okay, we are almost to the end. Okay. So I'm just going to pull it tightly. And I hope I've been in camera all this time, guys. Cause now on this one, you might want to take your needle in when you pull it, and just try to make some runs from do it just to close it off a little bit more. You don't have to be the fanciest. Just like I see you decorate like I'm going to. It's going to be covered up anyway. I'm just making a few, few stitches here and there around the. Around the and I'm just going to get ready to close it up. to be okay I'm gonna put my string here you can cut 
had any. I said string you have run around the edges too. This is where you just come back and lift it out. That's all it is to it. Just, just go around the edges, leaving long, uh, long stitches, not very small stitches around it, and then just make sure it all come together in the middle. And I could have sewed a little bit more right there, but it'll be all right. And then just fill it, fill out, and fix it over how you want it. All right, all right. That's all it is to it. I got one more. I'm I play with off camera and then I uh, get me off some more um, color one. I did pick up um, some fabric from um, Tuesday mornings this past Sunday and I paid $4.49 for it so I might try to do some some of the just um, these is a Halloween fabric I really had plans to send this with some other projects I've sent off but I didn't have any in time so but that's all I got for you now I hope y'all like this tutorial and like I've said over 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 I'm not a professional at this I'm just now getting into making them but I truly really enjoy making them now out of all of them I've made I really like the biggest one better and this was my very first one I did using my um, other color instead of my dyes but, but that's what that one turned out I like the bigger one better but anyway um, y'all have a good day and I'll talk to you all guys later bye bye